My name is Juanita McClellan. I was born in Marshall, Arkansas in December the 7th of 1922. When we lived in Searcy County, my mother and dad both grew up there. And that was Homer Treat and Eula Therese. When I moved to Cane Hill was January of 1947. I mean, Mom never worked out. I worked for different people back then, but I had gone to business college, so I worked one time for a lawyer. I worked five years for the state seed laboratory, and I worked for a uh, farm bureau feed store. So I was just usually five years at a time, and then I could get a better deal someplace else. The earliest memories was it, it was a boom town. It was a good town. It had two stores, one right across the street from the other. And we had a lot of people. A church was full every Sunday at when they had church almost. And we had a lot of activities. We had, for a long time, we would have potluck supper once a month for everybody who had a birthday in that month. So, and they played rook on every occasion. But, that was something I didn't know, so I usually babysat who was there. My daughter went to the, through the fourth grade before they moved it, but they had taken the high school out the year before I came. Well, there were 12 of the McClellan family, and I made 13. So when they played Rook, there were three tables with them. So there was a five-year-old, and I entertained him. But we had a family dinners at different homes at least once a week, all winter long. My husband fox hunted, but mostly they played rook. We finally added playing bridge a little bit, but that didn't take out over very good. We had uh, missionaries, women's circle once a month. We had the extension service once a month and worked with things like that in, in Fayetteville even. At the schoolhouse, we'd have a potluck supper at least once a month. So most of it was just being friends with the, each other. And we had a lot of people here. Most of them were farmers. Shaker Yates had the biggest grocery store and the one corner of it was the post office, and I worked for him quite, uh, quite a while too, being assistant postmaster. Across the street at an angle was Bob Arts, and they had an upstairs, and for a little while they had dancing on Saturday night upstairs. The summer, when water was scarce, people came and drew water in barrels and jars, just whatever. But right in front of Shaker's store, there was a water faucet 
and people could come and get water even when it was water was not available otherwise. That kept a lot of people coming here to the store just to get water in front of it. All I know is my husband said he'd haul, t take a horse with a sack of corn and take it down there to have it ground, but it wasn't working. In fact, we lived close enough to it after a few years after I came down here where we could hear kids down there having parties at night and playing and loud music and things. So I think they played on the old mill wheel and deteriorated it. Well, that was quite different because it was a big house. We had two floors and we had propane in it, so we had heat. We had fireplace and eight fireplaces in the house. And it was 12 foot ceilings downstairs, 10 foot ceilings upstairs. And I papered the walls in both downstairs and upstairs. I didn't do the ceilings. But at different times, I would work on it. We had a big dining room with uh, ceiling light right over it. And it had a closets in every room. They didn't used to have that. Back then, there was a closet beside every uh, fireplace and uh, there would be a, a a closet on either side of the of a fireplace in each room and the living room had walnut wainscoting up about three feet with oak panels in it so it was unique I hated to leave that place, but, and we had all the facilities like we did in town. We had the electric washing machine, and we didn't have a dryer at that time, but we had all the other things that modern houses had. And we had so many people, young men, dating young ladies in the area, and they would be cousins or relatives. They knew which bed to sleep in when they'd bring their date home and then come on over there. So I had to look out the window to see how many cars I had out there so I'd know who to fix breakfast for. But. We had a four-poster bed in one room, and it had a rope that held the mattress up or the springs, but it was a rope uh, that made it instead of using a spring. So I, I hated to get rid of that too. We also had a, and we still have it in the family, probably over a hundred arrowheads pictured. I mean, they owned, all the arrowheads were held with wire inside the, so we still have that. I like the old house, but it was 22 stairs to, to go down. It had a back porch, L-shaped, 
And if you had to go down the steps, it was 20, 22 steps. So that's not good for old people. 14 years I lived in that house. And your husband was? Charles Getty McClellan. I worked at the feed store and he brought somebody from here and there because he took him to the dentist and he came back by there to get some feed. And then later on he called me. Oh, okay. And then we lived with his, his, he was living with his mother. His dad had just died recently, not too long before that. And she didn't like to stay by herself. So that helped with his being a fox hunter. I stayed with her. And, uh, and she lived with us until the last few months she lived. That's what my husband did besides fox hunting. Was he did butchering for everybody. He was a likable person by everybody around. I start to think about all the people that were here when I came, and there's over a hundred of them gone.